Bobby, hello. This is Jim Delapine, and I am. Uh, I'd like to praise you for doing a fantastic job with this. This looks terrific. I see that you're doing not only great layer mask work, but also you are accomplishing what I'm about to make as a requirement for Milestone 5's task 2, which is to create adjustment layers that are clipping masks. So I see that you've already done that. And in addition to that, the other requirement will be will to save selections and rename them as channels. So you've you've got that done also. So that's great. So you're way ahead of the game. So uh, I am going to uh, give you a suggestion because I like to see characters basically have a base. All right. So this is there's no base here that. Grace is standing on, so I w I'd like to give that illusion of a base. So I'll, I'll show you one option of what you could do here. So I just went to Google, and I found um, this image of a brick pattern here. I'm only using brick because that can be outside, you know, so it can kind of work. So what I'm going to do is use that brick and bring it in and create a, a flooring or ground out of it. All right, so uh, there's two ways you could do that. One would be using the Move tool. You can click and drag on top of the tab and my cursor is still held down and drag over and then hold down the shift key before you let go with your mouse when you do that it mathematically sends it centers it within the document okay not that it has to be but it's just extra information for you all right you would get the same exact result as if i copied this and then pasted it okay so mine happens to happen to have come in above whatever layer was active which was in your case the, it looks like the shadow layer all right, that was. Um, okay, one little tip here for the shadow. Any shadow, you should put that into multiply mode. Okay, so let's put that in multiply mode. Visually, it will not look any different uh, in this case, but in other cases, it it will or may. Okay, imagine it as uh, you know painting basically with this with a color. Um, no, you know what? Let me retract that statement and just move forward because that, that will get a little complicated with me uh, trying to verbalize it correctly so that it's understanding, understandable. So let's talk about this floor. So um, I'm going to hit Control T and I'm going to scale this out. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key as I drag. And also if I hold down the, the Shift key constraints and then the Alt key or Option key will scale out for the center point. Okay, so... I'm just going to go out to the width, then I'm going to click and drag and pull this down and imagine where I want the horizon to be. So you basically want a, a one-third, two-thirds rule. You never want to cut a design in half. So I'm going to come about a third of the way up and imagine that that will be a horizon. Okay. Um, I will then hit enter and then I'm going to hit control T. All right. So control T is free transform and it puts a bounding box around all of the opaque pixels on the active layer. So if I now hit control zero, I see that that image actually extends down here. And we know that because I just dragged it down. But what we need to do is crop out all of those excess pixels. So let me hit enter to apply the transformation and control A to select all. I'm then going to crop it. So it'll crop out or delete those, any extra pixels outside of this viewing box or viewing area. So image crop, okay. So now when I go down, uh, I'll deselect. And now with that layer active, I'll hit Control T. So now there's a bounding box around it. Okay. So we have some options here now. I can go to Edit, Transform, Perspective, which is right here. And I can, let me just zoom in a little bit. And if I go to the lower left or lower right bounding box and pull outward, I get... The illusion of perspective okay um so you have that option or let me give you another option which i think is going to be better so control t again puts the bounding box around all opaque pixels on that layer then i'm going to hold down my control key and let me hide the layers f7 so with the control key held down i can then click on any bounding box in this case i'm going to click on the lower right and start to pull out. Okay, as I'm pulling out, notice only that is being affected. Okay, not the not any other bounding box. 
So I'm able to kind of distort this, okay? So I can pull out, and as I'm dragging, I'm going to hold down the shift key. That will constrain that to a horizontal slide, okay? So I can, I like what I'm seeing here, okay? I think, I think this is more appropriate than the uh, perspective coming out to the left also. It gives, it kind of gives it a direction to which Grace is running, okay? So I'm going to hit enter to apply that transformation. And I know that the shadow is underneath, so let me hit F7 to bring back my layers and place the shadow on top. All right, so now you have the shadow. All right, so that's really what I wanted to share. Everything else looks great. You're ahead of the game. Um, and um, I'll think of something else uh, maybe for next week, but uh, this looks terrific. Great job. All right, okay, take care.